Welcome back to Dimension Quest. After a small update incident in Fedora 40, I decided to try Ubuntu Studio 2404. While Ubuntu Studio does come with plenty of production software, DaVinci Resolve is not included. As you may know on the Linux side, it used to be developed for CentOS, but is now developed for Rocky Linux 8.6. I've seen numerous requests in the community to support Debian-based systems, but so far we have to rely on alternative methods to get DaVinci Resolve working properly under Debian or Ubuntu operating systems. Some people simply run the binary installer on Ubuntu. Others have converted the installer into a Debian package to allow the installation to be tracked by the package manager, and yet others use Docker containers. In this video, I'll be trying the package method. So with that in mind, here's how I got DaVinci Resolve 18.6.6 installed and working on Ubuntu Studio 2404, running on my AMD Ryzen system with an AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT GPU. So in order to get started, let's head over to Daniel's website here. Now I'm not even going to attempt his last name, but uh, we need to download his software and follow his instructions here so that we can convert the run file into a Debian installer. Let's get started by downloading DaVinci Resolve installer. You can do that over at blackmagicdesign.com. Once you've done that, you'll need to extract the zip archive so that you have the run file available. Next, you'll need to use the tar utility to unarchive the make resolve deb gz file. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Once that's done, we have our sh file. That's our script that will actually be executed here shortly. We'll just clear the screen. Now, before we execute the script, we want to make sure that we have all of our prerequisites installed. So that would be fake root, XOR ISO, and I also made sure that I've got build essentials, GCC, git, curl, wgit, and the headers for the kernel. So I just like to make sure all of those are available because um, a lot of times those are needed for uh, a variety of different software. So there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and execute the script here. So it only takes one parameter and it's the uh, name of your run file from your DaVinci Resolve. I'll go ahead and get this sped up so that we don't have to sit here for the entire wait time of 2 minutes and 35 seconds while the script is executing in the background there. Okay, no errors reported. That's uh, probably a good sign because I'm not sure what I would do if there were errors reported. Now we need to go ahead and install the Debian package. So I'll just do the sudo dpackage-i in the name of the deb file. All right, it looks like that's run. So let's go ahead and try checking for DaVinci Resolve, and there it is. I'll click on that. And I saw it bounce a couple times there, but it doesn't appear to be launching. So when this happens, that typically means that you're missing some libraries or something, and the best way to find out for sure what's missing is to open up a terminal prompt and go into the slash opt slash resolve slash bin folder and try executing resolve from there. It should give you an indication of what's missing, and in this case, it's the libpango library. So there's actually four different files that end up being missing files, missing libraries here. Now, it's because Ubuntu 2404 does not have these. Fortunately, I found another YouTuber that stepped through the entire process of obtaining all four of those files and getting them downloaded. I'll link to his video in my description below. And I've written a simple little script that downloads all four of the files, extracts them, and gets them placed where they need to be put. So I'll also include that in the description below. Now that all of these files are downloaded, we need to make sure that they're extracted and placed into the correct directory so that DaVinci Resolve is able to properly load. All right, there's the files. Now we'll copy them into the opt resolve libs folder. And again, I'll include a script that takes care of all of this for you so that you don't have to rewatch this section of the video. Okay, with all of the files in place, we should hopefully be able to run resolve now. Okay, that's looking much better. Now, I've run into this before where just a black screen loads up where the splash is supposed to be. 
So what I have found and what I've read online is that we just kill the process. So do a control C to terminate that. And then we relaunch it and it should go through. I'm not sure what the bug is there, but it's been present for quite a while. It may be just a, a Debian Ubuntu thing. I'm not sure. So here we go. Okay, and there's the splash screen just as we expected. All right, unsupported GPU processing mode. Well, update configuration, go to memory, GPU, and it doesn't seem to see my GPU. So this typically means there's something wrong with OpenCL. I thought that I had things loaded, but I didn't run any proprietary installers. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the Radeon drivers for Ubuntu. Specifically, we need to install the rockm-opencl. Now, once that's been installed, that should allow DaVinci to see my GPU. All right, let's try launching DaVinci Resolve from our icon this time. All right, it's coming up. Okay, that looks better. We didn't get an error message. Now let's adjust our GPU settings here. Memory and GPU, we do not want auto because for GPU selection, it defaulted to my integrated graphics. And I want to make sure I select my RX 6900 XT. There we go. And we'll save that. Oh, yep, gotta have at least one Meteor storage folder specified. So let's go ahead and add one. All right, preferences updated. Okay, I now have DaVinci Resolve 18.6.6 .6 installed on my Ubuntu Studio 2404. It's launching properly. It sees my GPU and it's configured to use that. Now this entire video was recorded and the audio was done here on Ubuntu 2404. Now, one thing that I did run into was a popping sound when I attempted to do the voiceover recording. So I've got a link up in the top corner to the other short video that I released that steps through the simple process of getting that fixed and taken care of. All right, well, thanks for watching and have a great week.